Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Tutorials for Teachers. Today we're going to talk about Wakelet. Before I get into the tutorial, I just kind of want to talk a little bit about what it is and how you can use it for school. Before I get into that, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and leave suggestions in the comment section below. So what is Wakelet? Wakelet, the best way to think of it is Pinterest. It's a way to collect different ideas, different links, and put them all together in what they call a collection. And so this is really good for teachers because you can save links, you can save web pages, you can save images, flip grids, you can save all of this stuff into one collection that can go together and you can share that with other people and other people can find that. So it kind of takes all of your teacher stuff that you need for a specific lesson or a certain topic and it kind of puts it into a social media type of feel and allows you to put it all together into a collection. So if that sounds interesting to you, let's go ahead and get into it. This is going to be your home page when you log in or sign up. If we're going to start from the left, you can add multiple accounts. So if you have two different accounts that you want to make weight clicks for, you can add them here and easily switch between the two. This is a little bit of information about my account. This is how many following and followers. So this is how many people I'm following on Wakelet and how many people are following me. Next you have collections, which is the page we're on right now, uh, which are the different Wakelets that I've created. As you can see, I don't have any, but when I add more, they'll all show up here. These are bookmarks. So you can bookmark other people's tutorials or you can bookmark videos or other people's boards. You can um, add those here and they'll show up on this page. You can add a link here. And then you can also switch the view, um, have them in a list, a little thicker of a list with a little bit more information about each one. And then as a grid this way, and you can filter through them. If you have a lot of bookmarks, you can search and filter through them to find them easily. These are group collections, so you can have multiple people work on the same collection and then those those will show up here if you're working with multiple people. I'm going to go back to collections just to show you some of the functions within while you're creating one. But before I get into that, if you look up here, you can search for other wakelets. You can go to the showcase board. So this is just going to be a lot of different wakelets. Um, that they have to showcase from the community. And then if you go back, the rest of the information is more of your account. This is, if I click on this, it's going to show what other people are going to see in my account. And then this is notifications from Wakelet. Then over here, you got a few more settings you can mess with. Switch accounts, or you can also switch accounts over here. And then you have some settings and stuff about your profile over there. Okay, let's go ahead and get into how to make a collection and a little bit of what you can do with a collection. We're going to start at the top. You have some different settings for them. So you can add background images. You can copy this collection and share it with other people. And then you can also have collaborators or contributors, kind of like a Google Docs or Google Drive document. Um, you can invite people this way and invite them to to help you with this collection and help create it with you. You can start off by adding a cover image. And this is just going to be the image that you see at the top of your collection. You can add a title for this tutorial. We're going to just name it tutorial. And then you can write a description about it. What is your collection about? What is everything else that's going to happen down here? Um, what's the main theme of that? Describe it right here. Next, all you have to do is hit the addition sign and you can paste a URL. So if you want to um, show a different web page or let's say you have a website you want to show, you can paste the URL here and you can double click and paste or you can do control V. Either way works. You can also add text. So this is just going to be a paragraph. Um, you can have a heading. Heading one is bigger than heading two. Um, so you can make a heading and then create your paragraph. And you can also click a link. So this is gonna be 
with the text the link for that. So if I just start typing tutorial, um, I'll show you the head. That's what that's going to be. If I hit enter, it will go back to a paragraph. Then if I select this and link, then I can add a link. Uh, I don't know what link is. I have some YouTube thing that I can add a link to, but I don't know what that is. So I'm not going to. Um, but you can add links in within your text. And then obviously you got bold, italics, underline, bullets, and then all of that self-explanatory. So that's the text function. And then you can always go back and edit it or delete it. Then you can add something above or below whatever you just added. If you want to just add all your information, what I would do is keep adding below. And it doesn't matter what order you put it in. If you just want to throw all your information in here and then go back and reorder it later, there's a very easy way to do that. Um, all you have to do is hit easy reorder mode and it'll give you a list of all of them and you can just drag them up and down and put them in the order you want. So if it's easier for you to just put all the information in at once, you can do that and then go back and reorder it at the end. You can also have a different layout. So this is the media view. It's kind of um, has a little bit of information about it, but it's going to be all in strips. And as I I'll show you what it does. Um, YouTube. So you can search for YouTube or you can also add the URL in the URL function. Let's search for Wakelet tutorial. Enter. Then you can add this add. So as you can see, it's kind of all stacked up on each other. Um, because of this layout, you can also have a compact way. So it's not going to give very much information at all. It'll be in a list, but it'll be very compact and you'll be able to see most of your information all on one screen without scrolling. Then you can do a grid view. So it's just going to stack two things together like this and then two more down here. The final way that you can arrange your collection is a mood board. So this is, this is going to just arrange it for how big each one is or how important it is. And then it'll arrange it all when you have all the information, kind of like it looks right here in the image. My personal favorite is either media view or grid view, just because it's still compact, but it still gives you enough information about each one and it's easy to read. I'll go into more of the other functions. You can add tweets. So if you have a tweet from someone in the education system or really any tweet, you can add that this way. You can search by keywords or you can also search for a user and then add it that way. You will have to, to connect your Twitter account, um, but that's easy. You just hit connect and sign in to your Twitter. Next, you can add bookmarks. So those bookmarks we talked about before about YouTube videos or if you bookmark a URL, um, you can add those through this way and see I have one bookmark and you add add that that way, which is just that same video. Next, you can add an image. That's pretty self-explanatory. If you have an image on the computer that you'd like to put in to separate some of the text, you can do that. You can upload a PDF if you want to. You can also bring things from your Google Drive and OneDrive. And finally, this is a cool function. You can add a Flipgrid video. If you don't know what Flipgrid is, I will probably end up making a tutorial on it in a little while. Um, but if you don't know what it is, it's basically a tool for students to be able to respond to a discussion or a question in a video form. So they record themselves talking and then you can add stickers to it at the end and make it a little bit more fun. But you can add a Flipgrid video this way and it'll show you. Okay, so yeah, you'll just have to log in to Flipgrid and then it'll let you add a Flipgrid video. Those are all the functions that you can add here. And one again, once you put all your information in, you can always reorder it. So if I move it this way, I can switch them very easily. That's probably the easiest way to arrange it because you might not know exactly what order you want, but you know you want this tweet, this video, you want to put in a paragraph this way, and then at the end you can always go back and rearrange it. And it's going to save automatically. You don't have to worry about saving it. It keeps saving changes. So if I add, let's add a quick text, slide down, blah, blah, blah. 
done change is saved so as you keep adding more it'll continually save it so you don't have to worry about saving it that's all the functions of making your wakelet let's go over here so this is going to be when you're done or as you're making it i guess you can have these settings for who you want to see it so unlisted is going to be anybody that you send a link of this collection to is going to be able to see it public is anybody on wakelet can see this and there is no no real um, protection over it and then private is only you so i would keep it on this setting until you're completely done editing it and then maybe change it to one of these depending on what you'd like to do with it and then you can hit done and it'll save it like this so this is what other people will actually see when they um, go to your collection and it'll look like this and then you can always go back and edit the collection can share it here and then you can also change visibility move your collection so if you could want to create a folder you can do that and move it there and then this is also how you delete your collection if you would like to do that finally I just want to show you one more thing if you go back to your home page you can click on your profile picture up here and this is basically the profile that everyone else is going to see you can edit your profile by adding a bio uploading a profile and a header photo up here your collections will show up here as you complete them and you can share your entire profile with someone if you'd like to that's it thanks for watching guys if you enjoyed this tutorial please like and subscribe you can leave comments and suggestions in the comment section below other than that i'll see you guys next time